Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Friends, welcome back to my channel. In this session, we will discuss this FSP 350-60 APN. This is ATX Active PFC power supply. It is using combo controller that is Active PFC and PWM controller CM6800. And it is using power supply monitor IC, supervisor IC that is 7527 is very known IC. So we will discuss the working principle and the possible faults in this power supply. Basically it is a question from one, one of my viewers. He said FSP 460 AP. 460 AP and uh, this 350 60 AP is the same. It is 350 watt and that is 400 watt. Both are the same. Just the difference between the both that 400 is using two different ICs. There is no 6800. It uses L6563 for PFC controller and 3845 for PWM controller. But 350 it is using 6800. Both the function will remain same from VTEC active PFC power supply working principle explainer. Colorado Wildness. Please make a tutorial on ATX Active PFC PSU. Would you make a tutorial on ATX PSU with Active PFC? The same comment. ATX PSU with Active PFC. So let's start. If you see this power supply, here is input power connector, line and neutral. Then we have class Y capacitors with inductor connected to the chassis ground EMI filter and protection circuit this module it is protecting the circuit from over voltage so this protection circuit is connected in the input terminal then there is a power switch after power switch dual line filter that is working on differential mode nice suppressor then these two wires will reach to PCB in PCB neutral and line Line is passed through a fuse, 3.15 ampere, neutral is here. And here we have MOV, it is metal oxide voltage arrestor, it will protect the circuit from over voltage. If there is over voltage surge or anything, it will become short circuit and in that case this fuse will blow away, the circuit will protect it in case of over voltage. Then we have first stage filter FL1 CX2 class 2 capacitor 0.22 microfarad 275 volt. So it will suppress all excessive frequency harmonics and it will allow the required frequency to enter in the power supply and it will also block the internal switching noises to ride on the line. So we can say this is a barrier. Then we have FL2 filter. It is used as an energy storage then we have class Y capacitor combination it is second stage filter for common mods then we have this BD1 this bridge, bridge rectifier CBU406 after that positive after bridge rectifier the positive voltage are here negative voltage are here negative voltage will reach to this resistor it is a current measurement resistor or current sense resistor all the negative side current will pass through this resistor. We have a filter capacitor here to remove ripples. Then these positive voltage are reaching here R2, R2. This is the resistor and R3. These two resistors are used to measure the voltage on this DC rail. So it will be used in PFC correction circuit. We will discuss these three lines later. Now the positive voltage will pass through this D3 diode and thermistor. This is NTC, so it will allow to pass voltage to this capacitor. Here we have 420 volt, 180 microfarad capacitor. So this capacitor will charge. So this surge protection circuit will protect the circuit from overcurrent. Then we have another resistor network. It is also used to measure the voltage here at this DC rail. So we have one, two, and three lines to measure the voltage. It is also used for PFC. So our this circuit is power factor correction circuit. 
just we are using this line to obtain the voltage the voltage will reach at this node this time the voltage at this MOSFET it is stopped here the voltage will pass through this point here through this 2 ohm resistor and it is reaching to this T2 transformer primary the second end of this transformer is reaching at this TNY277 this flyback driver for standby power supply source pins 5, 6, 7, 8 are connected to ground when it will receive voltage through this winding it will charge internally to this bypass pin and it will charge this capacitor when it will obtain its required level to turn on that is I think about 5 volts so at that time this IC will start switching when it will start switching it will switch this transformer it will generate pulses here is snubber circuit to discharge this winding in off period now when it will start switching it will generate magnetic field and this magnetic field will cause to produce voltage in the secondary when it will produce voltage here we have short key rectifier and this short key rectifier will rectify we will receive voltage at c16 capacitor this capacitor will charge and we have a filter here then this voltage will reach here at c17 in c17 the voltage level will be produced to reference pin of this 431 adjustable zener regulator when the voltage will reach at required voltage that is 5 volt sb standby voltage at that time this tl431 will produce a feedback signal drive signal to this cathode because this 431 adjustable zener regulator will produce cathode current when the voltage will maintained at the reference pin 2.5 volt reference will be provided here with combination of 5.1k resistor and 4.99k resistor when it will switch the transistor of the output side will activate it will connect this ground level to the enable pin so this IC will receive enable signal and meantime this voltage in the auxiliary winding one end of auxiliary winding is grounded the second end will pass voltage to this diode D6 so here we have a shunt regulator 16 volt regulator it is a protection diode for this IC and we will receive voltage here at this capacitor the same voltage will reach to these signal switching transistors this network these are used to switch for PFC circuit and PWM circuit and this voltage will reach also to this IC it is combo driver for PFC and PWM controller we will discuss this circuit later now this voltage standby voltage will reach to the PC the computer and these voltage are also reaching through this J5, J15, J16 and these voltage are reaching at Vx it is also the sense line to monitor the standby voltage so Vx is input line 7527 VX pin that is over voltage detector pin 7527 IC it will detect this voltage from VX pin so that if the standby voltage are not maintained properly this IC is supervisor it will monitor all the current levels and voltage levels in any case if this voltage are not good it will not allow to turn on the next section now when the 5 volt standby is powered on it is good the voltage are perfect this positive voltage from here through this diode will reach to C38 capacitor and through this 33 ohm resistor this voltage will reach to pin number 15 now this IC is powered up pin number 2 will receive the secondary ground from this transformer the secondary ground the primary ground is a large bar bold bar 
but here secondary ground here that is standby ground it is produced to this IC so this IC is now powered up when it is powered up its PS on pin will remain high now the circuit will remain off when this pin is high internally high so pin number 3 of this IC will remain high that is reaching here when we will turn on or we will make a ground to this green wire at that time this IC will take a 4 millisecond delay and it will turn on it will pass this signal FPOB so this signal is now reaching through J27 jumper to this PC817 optocoupler when this optocoupler will turn on it will pass this ground voltage to this transistor this is PNP transistor when this PNP transistor will receive ground voltage it will switch when it will switch the voltage generated from the auxiliary winding will reach here and it will pass this voltage to pin number 4 pin number 4 is connected to this module and at that time this 4 number pin will receive voltage and it is connected to pin number 13 of this CM6800 so this IC will now active before this when we did not power down this PC817 this transistor will remain off at that time this 6800 will remain off now when it will active what it will do now we will see the pins pin number one that is connected to this R7 R7 resistor and it is connected to this R current sense jumper it will monitor the dropped voltage across this resistor if the system will draw more current it will cause to sense the voltage so this dropped voltage will reach at pin number one and pin number one is connected here and it is connected to I sense pin pin number three of this so this IC pin number three so it will sense the current and it will monitor how much current is flowing in the circuit now the second pin second line here pin number three so pin number three is monitoring the RMS voltage here how much the voltage are in this line which are rectified so it will produce to pin number three so pin number three is connected here through this 590k resistor and this voltage will produce to this pin number four so it will sense the RMS voltage how much voltage are there in the DC line then we have here the second input line it is pin number 7 and pin number 7 is connected here that is IAC how much current is flowing in the AC line it will sense the voltage drop here with combination of these resistors when it will sense the input voltage then it will also sense the voltage at this capacitor how much voltage are here and how much voltage are here at this point through this jumper so this voltage are reaching to pin number 9 pin number 9 will sense the VFB feedback voltage what is the input voltage what is the output voltage what is the system current what is the load current when all these parameters will reach here it will give a PFC out signal how much voltage are here for example here we have 270 volt and we need here 350 volt at this capacitor now 300 270 volt we need to boost this voltage here when these feedbacks are here it will give drive signal at pin number 6 PFC out pin number 6 of this module and this signal will reach here it will drive these transistors when this these transistors will drive these will switch on and these will drive this 
MOSFET. When this MOSFET will turn on, at that time we can see one end is connected to ground, drain is connected to positive side, we have a PFC choke here. So the voltage here in this line will drop immediately when it will turn on with the on time at that time it will give us search when it will generate magnetic field at the same time that this IC will turn off this IC will turn off this MOSFET again because it is a high frequency signal in on time it will generate search so magnetic field will expand in this winding when it will expand at that time this MOSFET is turned off so it will collapse when it will collapse it will induce voltage in the result of collapsing magnetic field now there is no return path to the backside because we have positive voltage here this end will become negative this end will become positive now this will become a series voltage source in the output of these voltage positive negative positive before turning on this end was positive but now with collapsing magnetic field this winding this end will become negative this end will become positive so these voltage become in series so these voltage will pass through this diode d20 for example 270 volt were here and 60 volt we generated from this coil 60 plus 270 330 volt will reach here now we have two paths to charge this capacitor when this pfc circuit was off the voltage were passing through this diode when this diode is working the voltage are reaching here through this LTC. but now when the pfc circuit started in that case the voltage will pass through this diode d20 but this time the voltage level will increase these voltage plus these voltage now how much the collapsing magnetic field were there how much we draw the current so this drawing pulse how much current we take from ac line this will monitored from here from pin number 7 so pin number 7 it will give feedback iac vrms this pin is giving voltage level how much voltage level but when we start to switch how much voltage drop will occur here it will give a feedback to calculate the current how much current surge is appeared here so this ic will maintain the voltage level now we maintained the voltage 330 volt at output side at this capacitor so this feedback line now is giving feedback pin number 9 and pin number 9 voltage are reaching here so this ic will become low what is the voltage at dc rail output of the bridge rectifier and what are the voltage here when there is a difference between these voltage what we need here were 270 volt but now we maintained 330 volt so this ic will keep switching and it will maintain the voltage if the line voltage are increased for example we can say these voltage are around 300 volt and we need 330 volt so that time it will reduce its pfc switching time so that the mosfet will switch on for a low period so this coil will generate low magnetic field and it will add the required voltage 300 volt here 30 volt here 330 volt will reach to the capacitor so it will compensate the line loss here if the voltage are dropping or increasing it will maintain the voltage at this point in every case so this is the function of this pfc circuit this is the gate driver ne network for this mosfet in some power supplies in some models it is using two mosfets in parallel in some circuits it is using just only one mosfet
either it is one or two the both are in parallel same time when the voltage are maintained at VFB pin it will also generate PWM out when the voltage VFB circuit is active at that time it will give PWM out circuit the condition the voltage at this capacitor must be maintained at our required level now when the PWM out signal will become out from pin number 5 of the module pin number 11 of this IC so pin number 5 is connected here to this gate driver network it is in push pull stage one will turn on the second will turn off so it will provide switching signal to this pulse transformer so pulse transformer one end is connected to the gate of this MOSFET Q1 when it will switch on at that time it will give this negative voltage here to the winding the negative side negative low side voltage will switch on and it will provide it to this transformer primary transformer power transformer and the same time the second signal T3 will switch on and it will switch this MOSFET so negative voltage will switch through this MOSFET and positive through this so both positive and negative lines will switch and this transformer will receive voltage so when it will receive voltage it will switch and we will receive voltage output in the output side T1 output the same time how much current will flow here from R23 the current will pass it is working as a shunt resistance so this voltage will measured and this voltage will reach at pin number 8 so this current feedback that how much current is flowing it will reach to pin number 8 pin number 8 is connected here from R4, R13 470 ohm resistor it is reaching to pin number 9 so pin number 9 is used to monitor the switching current in the primary side now we, we are receiving the output voltage here it is using two combinations now the bolt the dark components that are using using in this model the same diagram will use for, for some other model so in that case it will use two rectifiers now the voltage will reach here through the short key rectifier MBR 30 L60 it will rectify and here is RCS number for recovery these voltage are reaching here through this filter it will produce 12 volt 12 V2 12 V1 12 V2 and these voltage were stored at these capacitors filter capacitors from this second winding we are receiving voltage here BD3 it is rectifier and filter circuit for 5 volt from the same winding we are receiving this voltage here it is 3.3 volt circuit and we have ZD8 that is 3.25 regulator so this voltage will rectify it and it will reach here meanwhile we have the same voltage here it is a 3.3 volt regulator with TL431 voltage regulator so it will adjust the voltage and it will regulate the voltage using A733L transistor so it will compensate and it will regulate the voltage exactly at 3.3 volts if there is plus minus there is up and down so it will compensate and at each case if the voltage are not maintained properly at that time this voltage regulator might be faulty plus minus 12 volt plus 5 volts all voltage are reaching outside and here we have a signal from D12 the same 5 volt signal it is reaching to this network and it is coming here at pin number 1 PGI power good input when the 5 volt will good at that time it will give PGO power good output signal 
Now the condition. So this PG out signal will go out that the power supply is good. Now if all voltage are good V5, V3.3, V12A, V12B these R lines are connected to the output side here for the feedbacks. All the inputs are within limit this IC will allow to keep working. Then we have here I5. This is I5 current sense circuit. So it is taking signal from here, from this point. The 5 volt, two signals, 5 volt output and 5 volt. If there is imbalance between these two signals, if there is a voltage drop here, it will sense that there is overcurrent and if there is a voltage drop or voltage up down, so these both lines, this line and the second line current sense and 5 volt signal, so these both V5, this line which is reaching here, 5 volt and current sense. If the voltage and current are different from any power supply. Let's check the data sheet. 7527 provides protection circuit, power good PG out fault protection and protector circuit, PS on power on command circuit, PS on B. So over voltage detector. It will detect VX voltage that are the standby voltage 3.3 volt in case of over voltage 5 volt, 12 volt, 12 B volt. All voltage level for over voltage, voltage condition. Under voltage condition 3.3 volt, 5 volt, 12 volt, 12 B. Just only standby voltage will be monitored for over voltage. The other power supplies will monitor for under over voltage. Then over current detector I3 and V33. We can say 3.3 volt section voltage and current. 5 volt voltage and current, 12 volt current and voltage, 12 volt B section, voltage and current. All the pins will be monitored for all changes in the voltage and current. So it will monitor. So this is the pin out of this IC. Here is its block diagram. The input voltage, we will see the limits. Yes, here is V3.3. If the voltage will maximum 4 volts at 3.3 volt input, this IC will work. Above 4 volts, this IC will generate over voltage condition. If the voltage will drop from 2.8 volts under voltage, at that time this IC will turn off the power supply. In 5 volt section, if the 5 volt section will in the output side, if the 5 volt section will increase then the 6 volts are drop then the 4.2 volt this IC will generate fault the 12 volt A section and B section if the voltage will increase from 14.2 are will drop from 10.3 volt this IC will turn off so these are the conditions in any condition if there is something wrong so this circuit will generate fault here is the input circuits 3.3 volt, 5 volt, 12 volt and the current sense circuits in any condition. If the voltage are wrong, it will immediately turn off this FPOB command and it will turn off this PFC circuit and this PFC circuit will immediately turn off and it will turn off the PWM drive. How the circuit will regulate the output voltage? This is our output line, 5 volts. From this 5 volt section, the voltage are reaching here, the 5 volts. These voltage are reaching here to this voltage divider network. It is a reference pin. This circuit will work similar to the feedback circuit which are which is being used in the power supply circuits. So when the voltage are exact 5 volts, 
this TL431 will provide the cathode current and it will give enable signal here. So it will switch this transistor when this transistor will switch it will give signal to pin number 2 pin number 2 signal will reach here that is VDC so this DC voltage level will monitored here if the voltage level will drop the conduction level of this transistor will decrease so it will change the biasing at VDC so this PWM circuit will increase its switching cycle to increase the voltage if the voltage are increasing at that time the overconduction of this transistor will give feedback that there are over voltage there are more voltage than the required level in that condition this PWM drive will will decrease its switching time so that the output output voltage will drop in the output side now the condition all inputs now we have condition if we have problem in 5 volt section other sections are working good and it is monitoring 5 volt if the 5 volt will increase or decrease the other all outputs will increase or decrease because 5 volt section is the master and other voltage sections are slave for example we have problem in the secondary side 5 volt section so it will give feedback that there is a voltage drop all the other voltage will start increasing when all other outputs will start increasing our this circuit is supervising it is monitoring when the 5 volt is being maintained the other voltage are going beyond its limit through this supervisor IC so this IC will generate fault and it will immediately turn off this PFC circuit and drive circuit that there is something wrong any section will drop in voltage form or in overcurrent form in that condition it will say there is problem how it will sense the voltage the one voltage level is being monitored from this point the second voltage at the output terminal at this point it is providing at this capacitor it is providing 3 volt but we have overcurrent condition so we have a choke here we have a filter here due to any reason if there is over voltage over current it will give feedback that there is a voltage difference between this line and this line from this point to this point all the over current and over voltage monitors are circuits are monitoring like that thus both voltage level when remain same that means there is no over current no over that means there is no over current there is no over voltage for example if we are applying load at 5 volt section at that time it will cause to drop voltage here at this point when it will cause to drop voltage it will draw current from here the switching will increase when it will increase the voltage difference between this capacitor and this capacitor will occur so this voltage difference will determine how much current is flowing because we have an inductor here which is used as a filter at high frequency when the transformer is switching at high frequency the voltage reaching here and the voltage after this filter will be give a difference when there is no load the both lines will remain at same amplitude but when there is a load overload the voltage difference will occur here at this point and this point so this power supply supervisor will monitor that there is over current or there is over voltage under voltage in all means it will sense the voltage then we have here a fan control circuit ground voltage are connected here and we have 12 volt that is the output of this power supply from this section 12, 12 v2 second section so these voltage are reaching here at this point we have here NTC negative temperature coefficient resistors and it will change the biasing of this transistor 
when it will change the biasing of this transistor at that time it will pass the voltage to this transistor and this positive will switch to the fan ground is connected here and the positive through this transistor so it will start and it will cool down the power supply i hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any questions please let me know in the comments thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh